Hello and welcome to another Spaz Kangaroo tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to link a library with an Xcode project, specifically Magic++ in a C++ project. So of course the first thing you want to do is to grab the library. You can either build it from source or what I like to do personally is if it's in the brew repository I'll just download it from there. So in this case it would be brew install image magic but since I already have it installed, I'll just get an error. But once it's installed, I'll install it in, I think, uh, local... Uh, actually, we're going to have to go there anyway. So it's user, local, seller, and then image magic. And the magic++ library is installed with image magic in a lib folder. So if I cd to my image magic directory, we have the version and then we have the lib and those are all the dynamic libs but we actually for now we just want to grab the header file though so that's in the include uh, directory all right so let's just grab our directory because we're going to need to use this later so I'm just going to copy that to my clipboard for now so our Xcode project I just did a basic uh, command line Xcode project and we've just got our main file here. So we're going to want to include magic++ at the top. But since we didn't set any of the paths yet, uh, we're not going to see any uh, autocomplete. That's basically what I judge. Um, if it's working, I'll judge based upon autocomplete most of the time. And then compiling errors, of course. But the first thing we need to do is set the header search path. And we're just going to double click this guy, click the plus here, and then paste it. And this will be for our header search path. And now we should get some um, autocomplete here. And that's great. But if we try to initialize image magic, uh, it's initialize magic, and we should. Oh, wait, that's right. We need to use namespace magic right and then ma uh, magic wait no initialize magic and that's the path so we'll just set that to nothing and if we build it right now we should get a compiling error now you see in the image magic docs that they require you to run this magic config dash ccp cpp flags dash cxx flags um, to get all our flags but the issue is we can't really run this in xcode um, we can of course go to our linker flags um, and we're actually gonna have to put it in other linker flags right here but if we just paste it in here that won't work um, so what we have to actually do is paste it in our console first. Oh. Remove the uh, back ticks, and then just copy the result, and then you paste that in the other linker flags, and that will give you all your settings. And you can't see them unless you click out and then click back in, and then it, uh, Xcode will automatically format them. And now, if we build will get uh, success. So thanks for watching. I know this wasn't the normal thing that I uh, teach. I usually do Blender tutorials and this was a very obscure C++ um, Xcode thing. Uh, so this probably won't get any views but I still hope you liked it. Make sure to uh, subscribe if you want to see more Blender tutorials and let me know if you do want to see uh, some more uh, programming type tutorials because uh, I've got a few ideas I'm working on some uh, Love 2D games Love 2D is a Lua game engine uh, so I could make some tutorials on how to write games 2D games but uh, just let me know in the comments so thanks for watching and we will see you all later